Sphinx fight. Welcome to Let's Get On With It Live, everyone. Uh, it's a hot show where we do, in fact, on occasion, get on with it. It's been a rip-roaring good time here in the pre-stream. But that isn't for the highlighted video. Today, we are returning to System Shock 2. Uh, I was gonna do other roast things. Beefs. Roast their beef. Sham it! Go roast beefs! Roast their beef! I'm trying to do an introduction! So, System Shock 2 wasn't on the slate tonight. Or, or really, like, again for a bit. But, uh... What a week! So here we are! Gonna relax. Not as much relaxing as I did with just System Shock 2 a few days back. Um, but we're gonna see about uh, relaxing all the same. Gonna play this on impossible difficulty. Uh, no Psy powers. Uh, Psy is a resource open to everyone. Plenty of potential there, depending on how much you're willing to dip into it. I ain't dipping a fucking thing. Uh, I do intend to go heavy into standard weapons. Gonna show off how awesome Assault Rifle is. Uh, in case anyone has forgotten or is unaware because of reasons. And uh, when we get to the OS upgrade stations, I'm letting viewers pick that. I got a poll system set up. It's going to work, he said, choosing to believe the lies there. That's right, no jazz. Uh, when's the next River City Ransom Underground? When the, the videos get their titles and descriptions added, and then published. They're all uploaded already. Considering, though, that uh, the, the videos have been, like, getting published, like, in the weekends into, like, Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, that would probably be when that happens. That's not System Shock 2. You, you may also want to cherish that content. and what little there is left of it. Impossible. Look at you, hacker. A p p pathetic creature of meat and bone, panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. Military. Science. Consumer. Try Optimum. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Try Optimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of TriOps commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems, nearly all developed by TriOptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek. Fast. Revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. Circumstances. 
so we're about to plow the bosom of the cosmos. Uh, plow the heavens, I actually think was the phrase there, and explore the bosom of the cosmos. That all sounds legit. Alright, here's uh, something that I was thinking about that confused me. Where the hell are my subtitles? Those are enabled in my config file, and when I did this first playthrough, I was uh, I streamed it several days back, I was expecting to see subtitles here. Their absence is distressing. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The grav shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the grav shafts. Whatever. Uh, so if you're not familiar with the story of the game, uh, it goes a little bit into the instruction manual. Uh, Marie Delacroix, who is uh, a main feature of the video game, uh, has developed this experimental faster than light drive, and she's been picked up for this maiden voyage, which she doesn't think should be happening. Uh, and that was her voice uh, there in the garbled transmission. Uh, but by Trioptimum is ever committed to, like, corporate greed and profit, and so Karinchkin and his goons are off to the stars. Uh, the Von Braun suffers all manners of, like, glitches and terrible happenstances, you know, imagine, like, all these horrible, like, tech gremlins. Like, they all come out to play. Just cascading series of problems before they even get to their, like, Tau Ceti 5. Uh, where they pick up the, the singing eggs and a certain computer component. Uh, it's joined, uh, it's being piggybacked. Uh, by the UNN's uh, Rickenbacker for, like, security. And there is a whole other series of, like, complications that comes with those two ships being joined on this FTL Drive's maiden voyage that, you know, Delacroix would like to still keep working the kinks out of and what have you. Uh, but that, you know, the best way to learn is by doing, right? And then you have, like, the, the conflicts there happening between... Varying factions, not just the two big the ones, to to the but the smaller ones as well. Anyway, I'll go ahead and pick up the fucking basketball. Handicap myself in inventory space. Give. And since I just did Navy a few days ago, and uh, I ain't doing this with side powers, we'll do this with... We'll go ahead and pick Marines. Before you choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. First, you should go into the basic training center. When you're done with basic training, if you've completed basic I don't training, need your training, you're ready for the advanced lessons. Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. A shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. Right, the Rickenbacker is the smaller vessel. That uh, has been latched onto the Von Braun that holds the FTL drive. Is this a RP stream? What? No. Why would it be? There, there's a lot of stuff that's being advertised. Like, on this initial splash screen that you would have seen whenever you came into the stream. And I know you've been in since... Like... Because you, you were here during the introduction. If I was going to be role-playing, I feel like I would have conveyed that to viewers. What, what indicate, like, what would have given you the notion that... Like, I'm not saying this excrete you, I'm fucking confused. Like, what I would have communicated that would have made someone think that I would be role-playing. So, in regards to, like, pure uh, cyber module value, you'd want to pick the OSA. Uh, the, the benefits you get from, like, signing up with them uh, is purely, like, more valuable than what you'd get from the OSA or Marines. Simply due to, like, the expense of uh, the side tiers. 
Well, I'm glad I could help clear up that confusion. Welcome to Space Station Wake Island, Marine. So you've survived basic training at Camp Lejeune. Better still, you've managed to learn a thing or two about standard weapons. But now it's time for the real deal. Your tour of duty will consist of four postings over four years. The Corps demands a lot of you grunts, but the Corps is generous. You get to choose your own postings. Head up to the shuttle bays in the center of the Wake Island and you'll be briefed on what's ahead. When you find the right posting, Head into that bay to accept the Ah. Uh, what's my absolute favorite specialization? Uh. I don't. <laughs> That's the answer to the question. I don't. If you're partial to spending time with a lot of high explosives, this posting is for you. There's a lot of heavy lifting, but Ordnance also gets the first pick of booze and other goodies coming aboard the supply ship Gallo. Ooh, booze. Lock and load. The Navy maintains a survival training school on the surface of Io, the third moon of Jupiter. Pros, there's no better way to improve stamina and survival skills. Cons, the 21.2% mortality rate. Plus, you've got to spend the year with a bunch of Navy skanks. Gross. We can't take plus two endurance. Not every boarding party has the luxury of gravity. So the Corps strongly recommends every one of its brethren get in some zero-G training. A year aboard the training station Guadalcanal should suffice. Listen, I want first pick a booze. The so... Navy maintains a... Probably not every yard. spending are. time with a lot of high explosives, this posting is free. You get so few point at HP and impossible. Uh, it's not critical to, like, start with the plus two endurance. Uh, although I know there were a few, uh, viewers, uh, back during the start of the Impossible run that thought, uh, me dropping the die was bamboozling the system to get the, uh, the endurance. Which kind of confused me as if I just wanted to make up the results. Why would I roll the, like, I could just roll the die and say, You got a one! You got a one! <laughs> uh, but that being said uh, you start with 15 hit points I'm pretty sure at impossible and that's pretty low yes not stable Tour duty aboard the Antigua should let you pick up some one-on-one -on -one beam weapon training from Gunnery Sergeant Malloy. But heads up, she's a world-class SOB. So, uh, psionics are very potent and powerful in this video game. And one of the reasons why I eschew them is due to their incredible power. Also saves me three inventory slots with, uh, with managing that and allows me to just urinate psi hypos across the galaxy. I can pick up all the analid side glands and be like, wow, this would be incredible, and then not do shit with it. The automated asteroid ore facility in JM-432 supply the UNN shipyards, so they're crucial to defense. However, they're also prime candidates for hackers. Somebody's gotten their claws into the primary data loop, and they need a team to head in there and blast their way past the automated defense systems. Not the primary data loop. It's pretty dangerous there. Dummy ammunition, live ammunition, moving targets, stationary targets, live targets. The Port MacArthur training facility has enough hardware to warm the heart of any leatherneck. So, uh, energy weapons? We had our fun with those several days back. Uh, heavy weapons? We neglected those. But, standard weapons. Dummy ammunition, live Gotta make ammunition, my wrench better. moving targets, stationary targets. Time to get out of... I didn't even read the first one. Well... 
I read it, but I didn't read it out loud. So we gotta keep the trend going. Plus two standard weapons, please. Thanks. I'm being spawned in midair. You listen here. Don't you do the Macarena! The... You think there's some kind of game? You can't just Macarena! <laughs> you behave in there. I look forward to being blown up by you later. The UNN Secretary General's office needs a full staff of armed guards. When things are dull, it requires a lot of standing around looking good in a uniform. When things are bad, it can require fending off a side terrorist assault. Side terrorist assault. <laughs> Yar. I don't know why I turned him into fucking a pirate with a southern draw. <laughs> Welcome to System Shock 2. The Felides trading station has long been a haven for the black market. However, up until now, they have not interfered with the running of station operations. Thank Recent you, Cloak. I'll need it. That the Polites command staff has been overthrown, and the station is under the control of a self-appointed magnate. This must be rectified, and a marine presence maintained on the station. I do enjoy the diction of, uh, our director here. The Colony Air Service gets the dregs of the fleet, and the Antigua is the dregs of the dregs. You'll learn a lot about recalcitrant machinery on a tour of duty aboard the Antigua, if it doesn't blow you to hell and back first. So, repair is neat due to, like, how the mechanics of, like, things work when they're at, like, uh, level one, when the game rolls for, like, their chance of breaking. So with high repair, you could just say, I don't give a fuck. I'll just fix it if it breaks. And just shrug your shoulders at maintenance tools. Uh, modify in single player? Nah. We're gonna find enough friendship scene devices. Maintenance would be better if I was doing energy weapon shit. But, uh, it's still pretty strong. You have some maintenance tools, left some shit on repair, and... Not to have to do the, uh, the repair things. And you find some auto repair devices. Happy days. Let's go be a member the of the UN and Honor Guard. Secretary General's office needs a full we did a lot of things guard. last run. <laughs> when things are dull, oh, it requires speak. a lot of standing around Let's looking good in a uniform. Go, when Rose things are speaks. bad, it can Rose require fending beat. off a side terrorist assault. Anyway, thank you, Overlord Darkwolf. It's time to look good in a uniform. Or defeat side terrorists. Maybe we're... That, that's what it is. I don't want to use Psy powers because I've been scarred here. That's General's what it is. Needs a full staff of armed See, I'm role-playing. When things are dull... That's right, we're building character lore. Alright, my tour of duty is finished. I look sharp in a uniform. My rifle's very shiny. Might have been tempted to take pot shots at the Taurus. I get plus one maintenance. All the other skills I picked up, like handling people, that's irrelevant for this video game. We don't really handle people in this video game. That, yeah, that's what it is, Lethal. Lethal's like, how dare you not show my fucking smug emote? <laughs> and it, the, um... <laughs> the me that you would use to, like, emote messages now has a, a bracket message? What the fuck? Hell yeah. Five months later. Things have been falling apart on this vessel. And that's before the pit stop on Tal Seti 5. Which happened like two weeks ago? In video game time. I know that room. 
reinitializing the life strings. I'm glad there's no rumblers in mid so. Restoring memory. Restoring memory. Excuse you, you will address him by his proper name? Goggles? <laughs> Steady yourself, soldier. This is Dr. Janice Polito of the Computer Ops Staff of the Von Braun. You're safe for the time being. You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Some kind of force has hijacked this ship. That's why you volunteered to be implanted with some experimental cybernetic implants. Rely on your cyber interface. It just might save your life. You must find an elevator and come up to Deck 4 to meet me. Deck 4. Can you remember that? But keep your eyes open. They're after us both now. Don't rely on your training. The cyber interface is what will save you. All those years of previous experience, set them on fire. Fuck them. Okay, so... My bad. We have 10 hit points and not 15. Womp womp. <laughs> Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar. Compared to the 25 we started with on hard it's difficulty. Stable, dude. Move. Take cover. And if I'd taken the plus two endurance, we would have had 16 HP. Critical decompression hazard in the cryo recovery suite. Evacuate immediately. Okay, so we got a basketball, a maintenance tool, uh, courtesy of our time in the UN and Honor Guard, and this wrench. Which reminds me, I need to change the key bindings now to put wrench uh, back at number one. Thanks. And you can go back to number seven. Enjoy. So I'll have a moment here to review the character. Three strength. It's amount of damage we inflict in hand-to-hand -hand combat. We have one level of maintenance. We've got three standard weapon. Otherwise, I'd have one standard weapon. And no sign, and it will remain just like that. We have six sign points. Uh, those aren't gonna do shit for us. All right, I immediately expected to have my smasher overhead attack. Right, we'll see whether we end up getting anything like that over the course of this playthrough. Because the OS upgrades are up to the viewers through voting when we reach one. Try not to sequence break while playing this video game. I'll hold true to that uh, during this stream. I expect. I might change my mind, but I probably won't. We'll leave that wrench for the next soldier. No, it doesn't, like, gear, increase, like, your resistance to size. That Psy Reaver will crush you, uh, just as easily. Hey Doc, a security bot showed up with orders from you to place this grunt into the recovery freezer. That's us. I'm no cyber doc, but I know a plant job when I see one. I suppose you know they outlawed our grade cyber goodies after that fiasco back on Citadel Station. But hey, I just work here, right?
put that secret awesome cool sauce coat in. Got ourselves a brawn boost implant. Alright, I have eight cyber modules. What can I buy? Well, uh, prices on Impossible are high. I will want some agility uh, so that I can maneuver easier to speed things along and help me dodge quicker. That's important. Uh, getting standard weapons up to six is also important for me. Uh, getting hack up to two would be nice. But I may also forgo hacking for now. It's either I stay at zero or I go to two on that. There isn't an in-between for me. <laughs> I am not beelining Research 6 now. I do not need to research the assault rifle in order to be able to use it. Spoilers, I know. I'm going to go ahead and grab this point of agility. In part because I don't want to move at movement speed tied to agility 1. After uh, the gameplay we did of this some days back. And this will also help me dip around uh, our foes easier. Can somebody let me out? I can't find my card. Please, let me out of here. I know. The last run was just a mishmash, like a melting pot, like a, a crock pot of like different things. All sorts of crazy stuff before I decided on what I wanted to do. It was good times. Great fun. Alright, let's go ahead and save the game already. Let's put this in. Well done. I'm uploading I'm some more modules. Sorry. Fuck missed. Nope. Got him. One hit. What? What you got? You got defeat. You lose. Actually gave me an organ and a soda off those two. Damn. Very generous drops already. If only I had research skill. I could deal more damage with the hybrids. Why is it that no one listens to me? Security protocols on the Xerxes system are clearly immature. Some idiot Your hacked into the primary data loop despair. last night and made Xerxes Your sing Elvis Presley songs for three hours. <laughs> the voice subsystem offline. On most decks, you'll find a quantum bio reconstruction device. Xerxes shut them all down, but I've discreetly put them back online. You'll need to interface with each machine locally to provide a quantum entanglement sample. Once you do that, the device will be able to rebuild your body essentially from scratch. It's not pleasant, but it's preferable to slow decomposition. I got called up around 0430 to help unload the shuttle coming back from Tau City. He's there alone. Jesus, what the hell happened to him? He lost most of his hair, and you can see these lumps on the side of his neck. And that smell. I told him he should go see Dr. Watts, but he told me to mind my own business. la -di da La-dee-da. Damn. The power outage has also taken out access to the bulkhead. It's the only way to get to the medical subsection. Pick up the battery from the floor and find a recharger. The one you used before is in hard vacuum now, I'm afraid. But there should be another one on this deck. Once you get the battery recharged, place it in the auxiliary override. All right. That's been taken care of. We got some nanites. Gotta go get killed. It's great fun for the whole family. God damn. Somebody's hacked into this thing again. I'm gonna tell Delacroix. You tell Delacroix. This is Xerxes. Please report any unauthorized database interactions to your direct superior. Remember. A smooth operation is every 
Everybody's responsibility. I've been unable to get in touch with Delacroix. This place is falling apart. Members of my team keep disappearing. The leaks in the venting shaft shorted up. Xerxes has control of the ship's security system. Avoid or destroy any security cameras you see. You can hack security computers to power down the cameras too, if you're good enough. But don't botch the job. We're not. You'll set off the alarm yourself. Definitely not good enough. Stupid computer Xerxes has shut down the elevator as well. Transfer power in the engine core on deck one, which will get the elevator up and running again. But you can't use the elevator to get down there. Wait. There's some kind of maintenance access right on this hallway. You can use it to reach. Each deck has a chemical storeroom. She can't you even find finish the talking. You need to research the artifacts you to talk? on the ship. Don't try to carry around all the chemicals at once. It's impractical and unnecessary. Your research software will tell you what chemicals it needs and when. So I'm going to be doing this without uh, having hack security, huh? This is this is this is what I've signed myself up for in life, huh? Sure is. Okay. Why would I risk life and limb for a Psy Hypo? <laughs> I do have a speed booster. Think I can make it up that ladder in time? I'm too good at video games, chat room. My god. The skill. Just fucking run into a wall and kill myself. <laughs> Go! <laughs> From the speed. <laughs> good work. Here are some more cyber modules. Spend them wisely. They're not easy to locate. Winners don't use boosters? Nonsense. I'll, uh, go take care of this stuff before I do a screen translation, although going that way does get me closer to the first OS upgrade, and maybe the chat room give me lethal weapons so I deal more melee damage. Ha! Who am I kidding? <laughs> Let's just go clear this shit. Something. <laughs> Fucking monkey! <laughs> Help! Help! <laughs> Ever since we reached Tau Ceti, the lab monkeys have been acting strangely. Nurse Lesser picked one out of a cage to be brought in for vivisection, and the rest of them, I mean the entire group, stood up on their legs and howled. This wasn't just a random display, it was a protest. You having trouble pathing to me? Awkward. How am I supposed to camp this corridor and kill you? not a hacking run right now because we have hack score zero. I have not forbidden myself from it. I just can't do it right now.
Oh yeah, there is like a security terminal over there that ain't there on Impossible, huh? It's only just in here? Yeah, I need a hack skill of one to disable security. Turrets are online all the time. Oh, you popped up early, didn't you, bud? Oh. 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 Personal space. Shut up, Beaver. We'll be with you in like 15, 20 minutes. Good. You've managed to get into Med. Now find Ozzy and get the key card to the crew sector. He's the one who monitored your cryo sleep, so he might be interested in joining you. If he hasn't been tortured yet. Intruder entering medical sector A. Intruder. The many demands to know your intentions. Are you allied with her? Do you not know of her intentions? Of her history? She once tried to destroy your species, and now you do her bidding. Intruder entering medical sector A. Can't be talking about me, right? Wouldn't be talking shit about me, right? Xerxes never referred to me before. Can't be me. So far, the only damage I took was eight points of damage from uh, cryokinesis, which is a good sign. Okay, I amplifier. Angela, while it may appear that the lab monkeys are communicating with each other, I assure you it's quite impossible. You claim that one monkey signed the passcode for a supply closet to another, and the latter proceeded How important to open it. As I'm sure you know, there have literally been tens of thousands of studies of primate intelligence, and there's no evidence of behavior even remotely that sophisticated. So either you've single-handedly trumped the entire field of animal behaviorists, or you're badly in need of a vacation. Okay, I haven't touched a entanglement station. So let's go ahead and save here. This is one hit kill for me otherwise. Just fucking shoot him. Look at me, pulling the gun out. Making moves. Uh, saving those shots. Holy shit. Piece of debris. Alright. If I did find a monkey brain, that would be compelling enough for me to, like, get research one. Like, if I found it this early. Get extra damage to those monkeys, too? Man, that would be delicious. Speaking of, there's our quantum entanglement. You might witness some strange phenomena. Your R-grade cyber rig has an experimental perception enhancement that can theoretically detect residual psychic emanations. These emanations traditionally come from the recently dead. Literature might call them ghosts. I call them self-hypnotic defects in the R-grade unit. Don't let it distract you from the job at hand. Monkey, I know you're around this corner, and I will fucking shoot you. Apparently I'm just... What, I think I'm playing on a hard difficulty instead of impossible? That I can just be so carefree with this ammunition? Instead of wrenching everything? What a time to be alive. You don't need two of those. Actually, I'm polluting my environment. Put that back on. No, I can't. Well, it's there now. That's where it lives. Crap, 150 lab monkeys making a day. The 
support ships. They come on board for the most historic mission of all time, and they end up being chopped into little pieces in the name of progress. Come out here, monkey. Come get me. See me on the other side of this unbreakable window? Come, there you go. Who's a good monkey? Ah, ha, 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 <laughs> okay, how many of these anti-radiation hypers we got? Two. Much do I hope I have? Seven. Four. I have eight. Is there a thing over there? I can't remember. Good. Medical tells me they've replicated a whole bunch of rad hypos. I'm going to pick those up and distribute them to the engineering staff unless anyone gets a better idea. Watts also asked me to check on the replicator in the crew lounge. He says it's a hacker's paradise. Out. You can go through here. You shall not at this time. I would like a suit of armor, although it is being guarded by two shotgun-wielding hybrids. I can't raise anybody down in engineering. With the lifts out, I'll need to get down there through the emergency conduit in the Psi Annex. I think the access code is in Watts' lab. What's valuable in here that's not in the crate? There's that table, and I think there's a body over there. Has fuck all. Okay, just that log. Okay, the radiation's gone off on its own. Use another five nanites. Okay. Just want to shoot these hybrids. I'm gonna have a hard time man maneuvering around them. I want the armor they're guarding. Why do you persist in your loneliness? Oh, I like it. I was trying to press backspace to shut him up. <laughs> Help! Turret guns me down. There we go. Plus 20 defense. Now we will go through that window. To deal that fucking monkey. With the greater peril in there, I'm pretty sure it will be the ladder. There's also a camera in here too, can't forget that. What you got, monkey? What is a thought compared to a mind? Our unity is full of wonder. Which you are trying to do. Here are some more cyber modules. Spend them wisely. They're not easy to locate. Patient Watson died at 0240 of non-specific causes. Was there Despite anything else up here beyond the function crate? The body is still displaying autonomous motor function, as does the parasite. At 0847, the patient even spoke to one of the nurses. Autopsy is set for 1630, and then we'll see what makes this Lazarus tick. Pretty sure no, but I'll... For, for viewer enjoyment, I'll brave getting off this fucking ladder. 
Oh, 20 nanites. The Psy Hypo might as well have been nothing. Alright. So far, I've been touched by a monkey and radiation. I'm missing three tenths of my hit points, 30%, so I guess I'll heal. Good. You've made it into the crew sector. Me now too. Dr. Watts room. Orenchkin's first log? We have picked up a transmission from the surface of Tau City 5. I've met negotiations with Captain label. Diego of the Rickenbacker, and after some coercion, he's agreed to go planet side as a joint venture. Oh, yeah, I forgot about all those things. I didn't need to use the, uh, the med station. More historic. First contact. And who is there I to heard get that exclusive door. rights to all media, patents, and land grants? Try optimum. Miri, I told you this would be worth it. Are we. <laughs> We'll be with you in a second, OS Station. Hi there. Please make your selection. I will not. In space! There would be a nice assault rifle in there, but A, I couldn't use it, and B, that would be sequence breaking. Security system. Goddamn Bronson and her stupid procedures. She's changed the code on the MedSci 2 sub armory again. Now I've got to head back up to deck 4 to find out what it is. Somebody's gonna frag her, but good someday. Yeah, I should have, uh, should have just held off, gonna save the fan five nanites. Okay! It is time to set up the poll. Now, there are 16 options, and I have permitted there to be 15 votes. So you can vote for 15 options. To vote, you will punch numbers into chat. Uh, the poll system is perfectly capable of picking up on that and logging your multiple vote entries. You can just do it, like, one at a time. It's no big deal. I will go over these options while the poll is on the screen. Uh, you will have several minutes. I just want to get the poll fired up already. Everything now squints. Don't vote yet. Hide that. Announce the question in chat, please. There we go. And that is appearing on your screen. Cool. We have... Strong Metabolism, 1. Damage from radiation and toxins reduced by 25%. Pharmo Friendly, 2. Extra 20% benefit from all hypos. Pack Rat, 3. Adds 3 extra inventory slots. Speedy, 4. Movement speed increased by 15%. Sharpshooter, 5. Each shot re with a ranged non-psionic weapon. It does 15% more damage. Naturally able, 6. One-time bonus of 8 Cyber Enhancement Units. Cybernetically Enhanced, 7. Allows the use of two implants at once. Tank, 8. Something I'd find very useful. Increases maximum hit points by 5. Lethal Weapon, something I would want first. Increases all hand-to-hand -hand damage by 35%. Security Expert, 10. Plus 2 hacking skill if you already have at least one point of skill applied only to security computers. Uh, Smasher, 11. Something I wouldn't go for this run. You can execute overhand attacks with melee weapons. Cyber Assimilation, 12. You can extract a Diagnostic Repair Module from any destroyed robot. You can use this item to heal 15 hit points. Here, Chan, you're... You really are a... Yeah. Replicator Expert, 13. All items and replicators cost 20% less. You give folks 15 votes out of 16 options. Power Psy, 14. Psionic Burnout no longer damages you. Tinker, 15. Nanite cost for making weapon modifications is 50% cheaper. And spatially aware, 16. Auto map for each sub level is always completely filled in. Speaking of which, I will go ahead and turn the mini map on. So, say for example, we had spatially aware, I'd be able to see all this shit immediately, which would complicate my exploration. My inventory is full. I will lug this there. 
We're gonna leave that running in the background on your screen, right there where it is, for several minutes. It's going to obscure everything. You'll probably Security figure it out. Forces have been alerted to your presence, intruder. The glory of the many demands your capture or destruction. I want to give the folks some time to vote. And there are 16 options and you get 15 votes. Everyone's vote is equal. Well, you can vote for 15 different options, I should say. And your vote is, uh, you know, like non-subs and subs have get the same thing. Hey, bud. You're so Actually want those grenades, so give me a moment. If you're unfamiliar with this gameplay and are thinking about things that might be useless to me, the one that uh, involves Psy power would be useless to me, as we are not using Psy this run. Spatially aware is also useless. Um, security expert wouldn't be useless, but I would need at least one point of skill. Uh, all this other stuff I could squeeze some value out of. The, th the thing that I would pick first would be lethal weapon to get extra damage. Other things useful too for impossible difficulty would be uh, tank for plus five hit points. Cybernetically enhanced uh, isn't bad, but it would be too early for that. Think of that, I am out of energy in that thing. Got up. It's someone, I think, who's downstairs who's upset at me blowing that up. Yeah, they're sorry. Why did I... A lot of shots. Good news, cleared up my inventory. <laughs> First worm pile. Another pistol, though I forget its quality. This is Xerxes. Remember, Watts is in here, so he's probably in his office in the R&D sector. Maybe he's got a backup R&D card in here. Take a look around. You have not disappointed me. Transmitting cybernetic modules. Uh, all of the options that were picked for me in the uh, Impossible Roleplay run I recorded several years back. Uh, were all options that were of some use. Uh, no one, like, spatially aware did not win a vote. People wanted to see me thrive and prosper, I guess. I don't remember what all four things were picked. Ow. My body. Sure, let's just go ahead and drink some more. There we go, got ourselves a shotgun. We'll load this now. Try to grab onto this ladder, make our way down. Uh, for what it's worth right now, and this will this may very well be a spoiler or surprise, I legit cannot look at the poll right now with how my with how my view is situated. I don't know what all's doing well. Don't tell me, chat. Let me know. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure it out. So this will be a surprise for me as well. Marie, I'm sorry I've been out of touch, but I've been working on that artifact Bayless brought back from Tau City 5. I've done a level 3 analysis on it. I think it's some kind of artificial intelligence. 27 carbine? Managed to pull an what? audio tag file out of his memory. <laughs> I'll let you be the judge. Marie, I think it's speaking English. Wow, you're incredible. Do you know I don't have time for this love story right now. Since returning from the surface of Tau Ceti 5, the patient has experienced numerous novel phenomena, evidenced by inflammatory nodular growth and the presence of a large worm-like parasite. That enemy at? This morning, the parasite penetrated the subject's chest from the inside and attached one end of itself to the subject's forehead. If I remove it, it could kill the kid. If I leave it, <sighs> final diagnosis. Maybe that enemy was uh... the hell out of me. 
I'd love to refer this to Midorsky at CDC, but unfortunately, he's 67 trillion miles away. In the log. Okay. So, final review of options uh, before I actually pull up the poll. Get 15 votes. We can pick 15 different options. There's 16 total. I'm hearing footsteps right now, so before I do that, let me just... Okay, maybe they won't mind. We have strong metabolism. Damage from radiation toxins reduced by 25%. Pharmo friendly, extra 20% benefit from all hypos. Pack rat, plus three inventory slots. Speedy, plus 15% movement speed. Sharpshooter, plus 15% more damage from ranged weapons. Naturally able, plus eight uh, cyber modules. That is 1% roughly of the cyber modules you will get in this game. Cybernetically enhanced, I can have two implants running, but they have to be two different types. Tank, plus 5 max HP. Lethal weapon, plus 35% uh, hand to hand damage. Security expert, plus 2 hacking skill, if I already have at least one point, but that's only for security computers. Smasher, overhand attacks with melee weapons. Cyber assimilation, uh, diagnostic repair modules that can be used to heal me 15 HP. Replicator expert, all items and replicators cost 20% less. Power size, ionic burnout no longer damages you. Tinker, nanite cost for making weapon modifications 50% cheaper. And spatially aware. Auto map for each cell level is always completely filled in. Any more logs? No, I skipped that fucking love story. Hi there. Please make your selection. Alright. Let me go ahead and finish the poll here. Actually see what was voted for. Lethal weapon! Holy shit! You didn't! No! <laughs> What? <laughs> Hold on. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Okay. Alright. The options were not auto-sorted uh, in this poll result, uh, but it's obvious that Spatially Aware came in second place, uh, Tank was in third, uh, Speedy was in fourth. I don't see anything else with, like, double-digit percentile. That is... What the hell am I supposed to do with this chat room now? <laughs> I am. Ah, okay. Cool. All right. Just wanted to go through there for the chat log for like stuff I uh may have may have missed. Lethal weapon it is. I accept. Said I accept. Give. <laughs> Give lethal. <laughs> Put lethal in the bag. <laughs> Remove the poll interface from the screen. Alright. Well, It'll be hydroponics before we have our, ourselves some more fun uh, with that. And uh, we'll go through all the options available again at that time. Uh, that'll be a few hours, I would say. Deal more damage with hand-to-hand? -hand. Please, just permit me, like, some, some more moments here. I'm genuinely baffled. <laughs> this is unexpected. All right. So yeah, other things I would recommend for, like, impossible difficulty, uh, besides what I've got going on here, it does depend on your build, but Replicator Expert, given the extra prices on Impossible, uh, especially Please since make your selection. Uh, hacking these machines uh, is currently beyond us, 
that's pretty useful. Tank for the plus five max HP uh, is really powerful. Um, sharpshooter wouldn't be bad. Survivability is uh, pretty potent and important. That's that, though. I didn't get a useless one. I, I got something that I would have picked first. And uh, happy days are here. Time to get blown up. I like hybrids camping on the other side of this door. Hmm. Hmm. Enjoy this brawn implant. We do have an energy recharge station over here. That other one is going to be inaccessible to us because the turrets are there. There's a camera coming up. Remember that, Grim? Oh yeah, I have cyber modules. I have 31. Let's go spend those before I go in there. Particularly because the, uh, the beaver is going to come out of that room. Yeah, that was a pleasant surprise for me when I did, like, do, like, the viewer selection for options in the Impossible Roleplay series. That everything I got didn't suck. Cyber Assimilation, for example, like, being able to get that as, like, an extra source of healing? Not bad. Look at how many hit points I have. So, speaking of, I didn't get a monkey brain. I still want to grab a point of research anyway extra damage the hybrids might be able to one shot the, the shotgun guys with my four effective strength hmm. let me think here you can also up standard weapons that would allow me to deal more damage across the board with my shit I do eventually want standard weapon six let's grab that uh, wrench counts as a standard weapon. Uh, for every point in excess of the minimum requirement weapon skill you need to wield a weapon, uh, you deal more damage. I think the formula is like 10% extra damage. Uh, wrench requires a standard weapons of zero. And I will actually grab three extra hit points. Hey, sure, fuck it. I'll grab three extra hit points. All right, let's go blow up a camera. I know, more endurance than I had during the hard run. Them wisely. They're not easy to lose. Got it. Shut up, turret. You know, the years have passed, but I feel as if I've gotten better at timing those jumps to smash cameras. Dr. Watts is alive and in his office. He should know the code to the maintenance access shaft. Hurry! He's been badly wounded. Don't let him die before he tells you that number. I, I, what? I know, right, Lethal? My vision's gotten worse. As have my wrists. Uh, yes, if the camera goes from yellow to red, the security alert spawn, like, goes off, and that will spawn more enemies. Until the security alert times out or until you shut it off at a security terminal. How long that alert lasts, I believe depends on the... It may depend on the difficulty, but I think it more depends on the deck you're on. It's a better quality shotgun than what I'm rocking right now. I could carry multiple shotguns. I'd have to make room. Might not be a bad idea. Carry multiple shotties.
Yeah, uh, on hard difficulty, I would have 25 base hit points. Uh, I think the scaling is still 3 hit points per point of endurance, and not 5. But I couldn't swear to that because I didn't grab a point of endurance in, in the hard run we did several days back. A lift with my eyes. Your eyes are open, huh? Should have used the shoddier shotgun. Oh well. Now this one's four too. Terrible quality. Might have some ammunition on it. A bullet. Surgical unit in here. I'll be dead. They want you, you understand? They want you, as a host. Get away! Alright, calm down already. The access code to the conduit is 12451. I've got an autopsy at 1630, but let's grab a beer on the recreation deck afterwards. Sound good? Needed that code, 12451. I didn't need it, but I didn't want to sequence break. Autopsy subject so I needed it. Watson. Now we're going to make the first incision in the Hold him down. I'm trying to. Really? I'm trying. Bro, I'm I'm coming up here to engage you in melee, and you have the temerity to shoot me on my way up. Still didn't get a one-hit kill, huh? Well. We're over here. It's a good thing I got the extra HP. Granted, I could have death warped. Five damage. Hmm. Awkward. Guess we'll leave behind a little bit of the bubbly. Uh, but I don't want that to despawn. So there, we will actually leave behind a little bit of the bubbly. I was expecting the second guy there. He just meandered off. Don't want that shitty shotgun. Give me the better one. Alright. Alright. It's time. For the most exciting action you can get anywhere tonight. Whatever time of fucking day it is you're watching. It's time to beat that beaver. I don't give a damn. And other shenanigans. <laughs> Save this fucking game. <laughs> There's the maintenance robot. Keep the maintenance robot confused. You can do like a circle strafing maneuver. I like to keep its gun pointed in a wall and charge it up close in melee so that it can't shoot me. When you get close, these robots will do like a backup maneuver. I think I can land one more, more hit with the wrench and then I gotta shoot the rest of the way. I'll use an AP round. I did that because when they die, they explode, and that deals damage. That's right, I shot my load in that beaver. Get down to that shaft engineering and reset the primary reactor core. That will restore power to the elevator, and you'll be able to get up to deck four. Get going. <laughs> So, Grimoth, what are your thoughts and feelings on Hack? 
Okay, very good. That's a good <laughs> that's a good collection of thoughts and feelings. I'm glad I pulled you, buddy. What about maintenance? We you feel like maintaining these guns right now? No, because I don't want to use them that much. And we can always just find others. Okay. Turn some light on. Thought I could close that. And we are going to use this as a cache of sorts. For shit we don't need right now. We'll just throw this organ here. We'll throw our game player over here. I didn't even... Don't get in there. <laughs> I didn't even use mine at all last run. Basketball, we can't take that out of our inventory. That's important. Because of the reasons. I expect I'll get hit. We'll use some of this. Hell, I should just bring it all, because I'll probably get hit more. That's enough room to grab ship. Yeah. All right, good. We're not going to hurt ourselves, right? <laughs> that would have been good, Kavitz. It doesn't matter! <laughs> You're now on the engineering deck. Find the engine core and reset it. Ow, shit. This will restore Game power cartridge. to the elevators. I'm getting some kind of strange readings from down there, so keep your eyes open. We have to bring the game player with us for any game cartridges we find. It's important to complete the collection. Why is it important to complete the collection? It's not. We may have already had Swine Keeper, but probably not. But maybe we did. We gotta keep that. Why don't I drop nothing else? It's my final verdict. I expect I'll get hurt. We'll pound some snacks and carry on with our lives. It's down to just a few of us now. Right after Valdez died, I... I guess I went a little nuts and started tearing things apart. But what do you know? I, I found this is sexy. Hopefully that means to avoid possible detention and execution. Please respect the will of the many. The radiation must have locked the protective seals on engine core access. You're going to have to find some way to purge the radiation from the coolant tubes. Xerxes is blocking me out of the primary data loop, so I can't get any information to help you. He's working for them now. Anatoly, there's only so much corporate calisthenics I can go through before I... Not interested. At your corporate calisthenics. Let's go... This way. Keep your eyes open. You must find a way to purge these coolant mind. tubes and get into the engine core. So we don't need to go that way yet. Kind of backup system in place for just this kind of situation. All right, silence. Damn. First time one of those pipe uh, guys actually got back. There we go. Inventory issue solved. You and your new buddy, Captain Diego, have got going up on deck three, but I intend to find out. If you continue to refuse to meet with me and my staff, you will leave me no choice but to register a complaint with corporate. If you want to take me seriously, perhaps Sergeant Bronson and her security staff will. Hmm. She didn't give me the other thing. Guess I do need to go the other way then, huh? Keep your eyes open. The radio. You're now on the I'm busy! Deck. Help! Find the Help! I'm getting some kind of strange readings from down there. So keep your eyes open. Alright, let's go activate the dialogue on the other bit. Do you have a red hypo? Yeah, I got red hypos. Another shoddy pistol.
to load this one up too. You must move faster. Your mind cannot conceive of the stakes we are dealing with. Keep your eyes open for utility storage four. I've laid in some supplies there. The passcode is five nine zero zero four. Got to get to death. The many demands the termination of this exchange. We regret any inconvenience. Hi there. Welcome in. If is not ours. System Shock 2 is quite an enjoyable game. It's definitely not nostalgia that has uh, brought me back to this. Doing a second run within the week, this time with uh, some actual conditions attached instead of having... Listen. Listen, Mr. Analyt Hybrid, or... Or miss, or... Damn, missed. If your wish has been granted. Genie in a bottle. Like that song. <laughs> there we go. All the the liquor and the sodas and the chips, they're all gone. Back to us and our beautiful inventory. So I only have two points of agility this time? There's no way in hell I'm dipping out of range of those protocol droids. I got to blow them up. I was having a hard time doing it with three and four agility uh, last run. It ain't happening today. I better save. Although there is a rebuild machine in here. We do not know death. death. Or four shots. Each other without killing ourselves. Yeah. Is your vision so small that you cannot see? I didn't want to use armor piercing for that. Impressed that hit. Hi there. Please make it. This would be a nice station for us to uh, get more med hypos. It's very conveniently located within the elevator. Uh, we'll eventually hack this with like an ice pick if I don't pick up the hack skill. Uh, that'll there. drop the price down Please to 30. Make your selection. Which is certainly inflated for impossible difficulty, but so it goes. And we'll explore this route later on. Let's go deal with this monkey that's in here. It's upstairs. No security control station for us, though. I'm going to have to uh, deal with the turrets. Um, using non-conventional means. <laughs> yes, the ladder, which is incredibly perilous. I have 18 cyber modules. For cyber affinity, that was one, right? Yeah. The multiplayer in this game is still pretty damn stable. Uh, at least uh, with this GOG version. I've played it with a couple friends before, and we've had some problems transitioning, like between bulkheads, where we've had to reconnect with one another, but it's been pretty good overall. If there's uh, one lamentable thing, I'd say, is that you're bound to the multiplayer difficulty, which, uh, is, uh... It's, it's tame. Nice. It's like somewhere between normal and hard. Alright, time for a pretty hell spot in this video game. A lot of respawns pop pop up around here. Uh, not just hybrids, uh, both the lead pipe and shotgun variants, but the protocol droids as well. Uh, fairly close quarters in between all the doors. That sucks. Uh, we gotta get the cargo bay 1, uh, so that we can get the card to go to cargo bay 2. 
So we can get the code to go in a door that's a few rooms from here. And so we can go in there and be told to go fetch something else. Oh yeah, speaking of that. Tab U. Utility store for 59004. As I noted earlier in the stream, I try not to sequence break in these runs. Get things as uh, they are unlocked for me. The xenomorphs who have hijacked this ship are presumably from the surface of Tau City 5. They've been able to infect a number of crew members through an extremely invasive parasitical technique. They I would say I'm a better system shock too, yeah. To control the actions of others through some form of limited telepathy. Find the research soft. Understand them, then kill them. Just uh, recently did a run of this on hard difficulty. Uh, no stakes attached to it. I was just chilling, getting back in the video game. Should be able to destroy that camera fine. This is Zexis. Oh, reveal those nanites I forgot were up there. All personnel, please report to I think those are telekinetic only. I guess if you jump up on this with a speed booster, you could maybe fling yourself up to grab those. Yeah, I know. That, that pretty easy baby camera right there. vote on the OS. What are you doing? The turret there. <laughs> Lost in thought. Having viewers vote on OS upgrades when we get to them. Uh, the first one, uh, viewers were actually gentle and provided lethal weapon for me instead of something like spatially aware. I am still pleasantly surprised about that. And will certainly make my efforts easier. A protocol droid? It's not. We. Okay, fuck it. Use AP rounds. Well, I could have just used two there and then switched to standard. I don't have hack right now, I I won't be asked. Use the resources. Got six normal bullets out of that. I'm not sure what's creeping me out worse. The hybrids with their pipes and shotguns, the berserk turrets, or our supposed allies. I don't trust those UNM bastards. I've got to find Sanger. She knows the access code to Florida. I'm gonna make my way over to Cargo Bay 2 to find her. Think I'll be fine. There is a surgical unit, like, in here I want to complete with my key. Get me fully healed. There's another turret over there. Obviously someone could creep up behind me, too. And that would be pretty awkward. Oh, shit. What? Do you have the key card? Oh, damn. No! Oh! <laughs> no, my nanite! <laughs> Ah! I know. First death. Are you kidding me? Actually startled me. I was like, oh hey, all the other rooms have been clear. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Just use the med hypo. Ow. 
you do have this card, right? Yeah. Alright. Burned one of the mid-hypos, but I'm actually doing pretty good on mid-hypos right now. I have 12. I have 290 nanites? It's not bad. Better shoot a light combat armor in here and what I was really looking for, the incomplete surgical unit. Which, uh, even though I'm already healed right now, mostly, I'll slap the key on that. This is a good room. Due to the tenuous situation as of late, I've ordered security defense turrets placed at key locations. Yesterday one went off accidentally and critically injured Crewman Wells. However, somebody must have tampered with the Xerxes security subsystems, because now my technicians are unable to take them offline. Until we get to the bottom of this, I've ordered all security turrets recalled to storage. But now I can't get in touch with the team I sent out to do the recall. Maybe we'll find a lot of healing lands. That'd be nice. Let's see, 20 cyber modules. I got other priorities with increasing uh, standard up. So I do want to uh, party with the assault rifle, and that does require six. And the other station here is Psy, and I'm choosing not to use Psy powers for this run. Hey, bud. I mean, yeah, they do see me. It's true. I better deal with this now. Otherwise, I'm gonna come through that door. Dum de dum. Oh god! Lived that story before. Our third brawn boost implant. Speaking of which, we might as well take this off because we're going on a magical trip. Trust the feelings of the flesh. Our biology yearns to join with yours. We welcome you to our mass. Thank you. But you puzzle us. Why do you serve our mother? How can you choose cold metal? over the splendor of flesh. But you fear us. We hear your thoughts, and they rage for your brothers you believe dead. But they are not. They sing in our symphony of life. It's darker in here than I remember. We offer another chance to join us. If you choose to lie down with the machine, no shit, Goldeneye. You part and put you separate from the joy of the mass. That and uh, Night Dive's uh, recreation of the original System Shock. Look forward to playing that in 2032. <laughs> that was odd. Stop wiggling. I do not want to listen to more of the love story. Pass. That's what I want. Hey. Hey. Also, I heard that door behind me. Or ahead of me. It was ahead of me. Fucking monkeys! Damn. Drop a brain! Give me your- Yes! <laughs> I still need the researcher one, but that's pretty good. Wait, hold on. Game card. Drop rates on impossible difficulty are really rough. Um, there is a high chance uh, when an enemy dies, when there's like the potential for loot, that the game won't even access the loot table. I think it's 75% chance. Hard is like a 25 or 30% chance. And then, provided it does actually access the loot table, you still might not actually get something of worth. Uh, which makes, like, finding those anilid like, psi organs that really, like, re like completely refill your psi really difficult on impossible difficulty. Uh, for reference sake, on hard difficulty, when I wasn't really doing much with psi, I found ten of those. Along with, like, what, two, three dozen of these? Healing organs? 
forgot to put the camera in here. So I'm gonna go clear out command control. So I get access to that quantum re-entanglement. If I die in here, uh, before I do that, I'll be reset to, well, the save now. I'd like for that not to be the case. Wait, I forgot explosives were over there too! Okay. Used a lot of ammunition there. But you know, I lived. Any fight you can walk from, and it's not a Ferric victory. It's good, right? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> no! <laughs> So the quantum entanglement thing is up there, and uh, to the left or right. Um, there's an enemy down that ladder over there. We're gonna go ahead and ignore him. That's right. It's a good thing I had all the uh, the consumables with me. So there's two two hybrids up there with a the camera. Let's go see about clearing that out. I will not use a hypo. I'll do this one HP. It's the only hit point that matters. Not me. No way. They're not gonna get me. They're not gonna change me. Rachel? Kids? I'm sorry. That's the kind of positive reinforcement I can get behind. This room's pretty cool. Is there another? Heads thrown in front of you? Understand. I think I have to actually step further into the room for that to happen. Well, that wasn't a good throw. Not ours. Nope, not your song. Shit. Potential detected. Potential detected. I'm about to bleed nanites. <laughs> Our song is First camera to catch us. Rest in peace, 20 nanites. Now you might say to yourself, hey, you could end up getting like a positive exchange from like these enemies. That could be true, but it's more likely to be true on higher, dif on lower difficulty. That's not a positive exchange. Hey. I did. So, we live here now. This is our home. I guess I'll just use the healing hypo. Your song is not a kill me. Not used to those hybrids missing. Huh. Anyway, yeah, that's the head that gets thrown. It didn't really do a good job. I was hyping up this room and everything. I'm sorry. Really cunning maneuver there of not charging me. The harmony is. The harmony is. You were saying? You can see these enemies warp in sometimes. I was I was staying back to not have our immersion broken. Anyway. The loot will stay. 
uh, that I've pulled off the bodies. The bodies will fade. Let's go ahead and pull out all these damn shotguns. What? 20 nanites there and I ended up spending a healing hypo all the same? And uh, several rifled slugs. And access to this. So, do you want 16 hit points? Oh, be still my beating heart. <laughs> Is it time for that level and hack now? Eh? Uh, research? You'd have to go back for the, uh... Yeah, I didn't carry that with me. I left that on uh, floor two. Let's just wait for the research until we get to hydroponics. I will grab another level of agility so I can uh, bob and weave a bit easier. I'm at the point now where I can plausibly weave in and out of a uh, the explosion range of a protocol droid. Try to save some ammo. One AP. Or four standard. Anyway, back down here. I don't recall there being anything of value in that room. Uh, maybe your many should learn how to climb that fucking ladder. Don't want your love story. Delacroix was right. The ship was not ready for prime time. Okay. The automatic safety seals have shut due to the radiation leak in the tubes. I'm gonna head down to engineering control. I think I can use the fluidics monitoring computer to purge the tubes. Forgot there was this much booze up here. Instead of, uh... Cigarettes. Not part of the harmony. Not part of the harmony. What is that clanging? Incessant racket. I don't understand. might be on this ship who uh, appreciated the cigarette. I'm not one of them. I know, they made the damn wine bottles out of the uh, incredible glass. This is Xerxes. Can you not feel the glory of the flesh? Do you not Dude, I feel the glory of the flesh every day. Of the of the so does that beaver. We do not <laughs> Damn. You. Damn. I was bit, putting a bit of a hurry because I wasn't sure whether that beaver would be coming up behind me. Alright. I don't want to fight it there because its gun will be able to reach me. I'd prefer to fight it here. As noted, you can pirouette around them, but I prefer having their gun uh, thrust into a wall. Let's get cracking. Now, I have seen these things as recently as last run, just a few days back, shoot through soft cover. Like, just not even respect, like, boxes and what have you. Just hit you through that all the same. It's very rude. A little maintenance tool. Neat. Okay. Hi there. Please make your selection. I will do no such thing. Want to fully explore this place, or I just want to grab what I need for progression and go. The broadcaster clenches his teeth. Alright. 
I forget what all loot is, uh... Strewn about where. I also have mild concerns about protocol droids. You know. Those. Should I just go? Down to 11 armor piercing. I'm noticing I, I don't have any confidence at all to uh, weave out of range of uh, the explosion radius with re agility. It is possible. Gonna forgo it. Good, I didn't fall and die. Can't hack that. There's a turret. Is there anything else up here? I don't remember. We're gonna say no. It's not worth the effort I would need to uh, slay that turret. The Turret Slayer. There's our key card for uh, Cargo Bay 2. Now would be an excellent time to leave. But I will remain in here. You can also crush them with the elevator. You could certainly crush yourself the elevator too. I can always get death warped out of here. There a turret? No. It's only a few days ago that I went through all this and I've forgotten the layout of some of the ship. Okay. That is a protocol droid right down there. So let's not ride the elevator down. The hypest smashing protocol droid action available to you anywhere on twitch.tv slash slash grimace. But, you know, I flubbed up that my own silly advert. That feels pretty good. Oh, damn, there was another one. All right, that's four I've smashed. Cool. Fifth one comes up. Ah! <laughs> that was unsettling all of the metal, the protocol droids. <laughs> Fucking monkeys. <laughs> the disrespect, another monkey brain. Very generous. Give me two brains. If I only had a brain. Come here, monkey. I know you'll take two shotgun blasts. But come here anyway. Get sniped from up above while I'm looking down here. Blech. Oh, 
I'm torn on using a health hypo here because it would only heal seven hit points. My max HP is uh, only 13. Well, now it would heal 10. Guess that's good. <laughs> Meets my standards. I'm trying to remember what's like available for loot up there. Oh, we'll go check. Ah, yes. That's why I check. There's... You can earn a total of, like, like over 800 cyber modules in this game. I don't remember the exact count. And with prices being what they are in impossible difficulty. They're pretty useful to grab. You wouldn't want to get uh, onto the Rickenbacker. And through that, only to discover that you are a few points short of capping out something essential. Like, no, I was gonna use the Vile Proliferator! I don't have enough to put my exotic weapons to six, damn. Guess Shodan's gonna win now. It's a good thing that, like, multiple, like, monkeys together don't, like, fuse their psionic brains to deal more, like, damaging effects. Underrail has that shit. With, like, an enemy type you can en encounter in that game. Oh, Underrail. I think that thing recently got an update for, uh, to be, like, playable on Steam Deck. Another suit of light combat armor. We got one. Uh, not the monkeys, like, directly, but you encounter enemies that, like, the, when they're, like, together, they have, like, their psi powers fuse, and they do, like, crazier shit. Already noticing that slower speed from taking out the swift boost implant. Every point of agility does matter. You know, it can uh, reduce a uh, weapon knockback. Uh, fa reducing falling damage is also pretty neat as well. But that pure movement speed of like being able to catch an enemy that you can already kill in one hit, I'm, I got the brawn boost equipped for the extra inventory space. Yeah, I think the, the team is uh, transitioning to a different game, but is still like doing updates for the first. Uh, Lethal's broadcasted uh, under rail a bit. Uh, the dev ended up like like offering to send me a serial key years back, and I pointed him to Lethal, and I ended up getting one from like the publisher. I think a year or two later. The game really sours Lethal. Uh, I doubt that stance has changed. Just with like the like all the varying like stuff that's like shifted with the game design. I personally don't love the game. I think it's fine. A lot of quirks to it. Significantly different magnetic fair, yeah. 
All right, that takes care of this entire cargo bay area. We can head over to cargo bay too. I think that's everything. And if it's not, so fucking what? I better not rock out like that. I might rock my way into death. I haven't forgotten the other protocol droids. You can still hear them out there in the distance. Rock my way into the void. Your flesh betrays you. Get betrayed. <laughs> Don't mind that guy. Still hasn't figured out how to ladder yet. Why don't we drop these spare brawn boost implants here for the moment? Also drop the chips in here too. So I want to equip that uh, swift boost implant. Um, Disco Elysium, I've seen my friend Dan Taku play it. And while uh, he has harped over the years for, for me to want to play the game, it's very much not a game that's for me. People have mentioned a bit that, you know, they play it like, oh yeah, this reminds me of Planescape Torment, and I've looked at the game, and the humor of the game, like, just doesn't sync with me at all. I'm like, pass. I'm good. This one's got at least one turret. There we go. What do you mean you can't like each and every game? Explain yourself. <laughs> you didn't mean it. Take it back. <laughs> well, we can't get the malfunctioning turrets offline, and now Xerxes isn't even talking to us. Pollard thought of a Xerxes around. is ghosting them. By running bypass into central control, we can hack into the turrets locally and take. Control. Damn you, Eric <laughs> Yar. However, that means walking right up to the little sons of bitches and hoping they don't go off. One thing is sure. I'm going to figure out what the hell happened here. You know, DDR is not bad. I, uh, played that in college. So that was easier to play, uh, when I had my own room as a resident mentor. And, uh, you know, when I took care to make sure the people living, uh, below me weren't there. Or, you know, I went somewhere to play it. Hmm. Is this the lift that was, uh, busted? Hurry. Yep. It's the, uh, severed arm, I believe. I already just checked the rest of this. You can hear that, uh, analid growling. Hey, bud. Actually, didn't it? So they've got a few different uh, swings they do with the pipe. One of them's like a super quick, like, ha-cha. And one's like a slow, horizontal, like, smasher attack. Learning those is uh, fairly important. Just gotta not bother those nanites. Hey, bud. Didn't see me. Huh. Huh. Okay. What the hell ever? Fall down, grab the nanites. Think I'm good. Oh, yeah, these nanites. Let's see. Last run a few days of back, I grabbed these successfully. I got four agility. No! <laughs> uh, I didn't see.
see how many I grab, but that probably paid for the uh, the reconstruction surgery. <laughs> Well, for agility, too. Damn, they can't all be winners. Maybe the timer on that shorter on impossible. Clearly, clearly the failing cannot be with me. Are you of us? No, I'm not of you. Did not mean to pick the, that up. Get back down there. What did I just use? Hmm. It's like a hypo of some kind? Oh shit, it was the med kit? <laughs> well, I am healed now. <laughs> the med kit I just picked up? Oh well. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Never felt better, really. In my case, that became, uh... There's a price tag associated with that. That's big time healing. Though it's very much overkill on my 13 hit point ass. It was just a cut, but I needed it fixed. We'll be fine. You can end up clutching onto those things anyway. I'll probably be fine. My last impossible run probably had several spares of those. And that was uh, a melee only run, that impossible run. This most definitely is not a melee only run. Okay. What happened to me? What happened to me? No! no! Missed! <laughs> Missed twice! What have they done to my boy? They massacred my boy. Why didn't I just leave the hazard suit behind? That would have been a bad idea. Would not have been a bad idea at all. It's not like I'm needing it for the toxins. Well, I'm carrying it now, so it's here. I'm sorry. I did it again. Perfect. Follow, just like that Analyt Hybrid, for more exclusive content here on Twitch.tv. Corporate Grimmeth, where did you come from? Use the med kit and <laughs> summon Corporate Grimmeth. We seek. We seek. Burr, burr. All right, I can do this. I won't perish again. Mazel tov. Just down the entire bottle and throw... Just smash it against the wall. Hey, this is a world where we got nanites and replicators. It'll be fine. I mean, hell, those bottles may very well be made out of triathlon glass so they don't break. Alright, let's continue. Delving deeper and deeper into the bowels of El Diablo. Close your eyes. Ow! Help! What if I can't afford the recycler area? There's a turret over there. Ah, uh, yes. I don't want to fight this here. Ah, oh, shit, right! It can shoot through boxes! 
<laughs> Damn cheating video game. Is there anything even up here? The broadcaster frowns. Just that crate. No, oh, no. Another poor quality pistol. And replace the terrible quality one. Away you go. Damn, it'd be great to, uh, to crush that thing, though it is... It's having a mo, huh? Man, I don't want to wrench this thing. Those boxes. Precious armor piercing ammunition. Do not like that sound. Maybe we can fight this one in a better loop. That's not a better ish. Wrong way. No turret over here, right? Good. Whoa! Personal space! Health low, you think? Fuck me, I backed away too far from it. Thing actually looks up and shoots me as I walk past. <laughs> Go! Okay. I'm gonna consume extra time and. So that's what I was saying, let's cons <laughs> consume extra time and burn a few more nanites. <laughs> Which is perilous in this damn maintenance area, but... I'd rather heal using my surgical key that I placed in. Thanks. Not a whole lot of resources being left behind for the next adventure. Alright. This time. I will not fall again. I missed that medkit. That's right, Vic. The robot's like, how the fuck did you come back? I got you. 40 nanites. Oh. All sins are forgiven. <laughs> Dream, but the 
many can accomplish. Where did you come from? <laughs> There's supposed to be one up there. Where are you? Why? <laughs> Fight this thing. Here? <laughs> no shit. Like, <laughs> it came out of the quantum entanglement station of its own. What if I just avoided it? I just gotta avoid the one upstairs. <laughs> All this for a code I already know. Oh yeah, and the French Epstein device. This thing better not be below me. <laughs> Balone's dead. I was just talking to him and this cyborg came up. My immersion is broken. That thing just warped into existence. And I drove straight into it. Just warped straight into reality. My fucking immersion. No. Don't want to go that way yet. Speak of the many to us. You can stay down there with your loot. yours. You can keep it. Seen a few. Yours. I just saw that door close. Damn it! <laughs> let me pull let me pull that slug out of my back. Death pretty easy to come by when you only have 13 hit points. I only had five there. It's like, you know, I was just gonna rub the surgical, like, station. It'd be peace in our time. Are you of us? Guess I'm back. That's it. Pellets. We gotta wait until he gets closer to use that grip. Oh, damn it! Fine. Use a med hypo. Fine. Leaving this with eight med hypos. And the med kit that went to heaven. Hmm. Can I leave this section now? Guess I don't need to tamp the, uh, the surgical table. Control computer and blocked us out. 
but keep an eye open. You might be able to find some workaround. Spawning worm. Worm jacked me up. There's a monkey in here. I don't think I play nice, the monkey. to take that. It would have been a death warp. To the command area we go. No growling. No growling. Damn it! You're supposed to get closer instead of just stopping there and stalking me. is always such a pain in the ass. Get over here. Alright, ten nanites. Paid for the death. I'm not even gonna try, just gonna set an AP around on fire for this. Who joins us here? I've recorded, done like a the playthrough of System Shock 1 a couple years back. I don't see myself uh, recording that game again. Well, I'm broadcasting it. Let me help you out. 
champ. Actually did have some stuff down there. We'll never have to come back here again. Under control. Now get those engine pods online. You'll have to head to cell one and two and reset the pods manually. After that, reinitialize the system from core control. But that system won't come online until you reset both pods. Keep an eye out. They're mobilizing their real forces, and they know exactly where you are. Me too. That I'm. Mobilizing my real forces, I know exactly where I am. Anti-radiation hypo, yippee. Is there anything like... Oh, right. No. <laughs> That's this at the start. Another worm. Randomly here in deck one, where it's not supposed to be. Hi there. Please make your selection. Look at that unmodified price of Sai High Bows on Impossible 150. Yum. Come over here, pipe hybrid. Thanks for the soda. See, energy rapier down here. We'll be making use out of that this run. Hours ago. Malone, the USA spook, tried to take one of those things out with a pyrokinesis attack, but didn't even break stride. Then it unloaded both barrels into his stomach. Valzone said there's a weapons cache in one of the engine cells. Maybe I can find him and the others there. There's the camera. And the other one. Okay. Is there a hybrid in here? There is not. Okay. Something, something harmony. Where the hell did it go? It is a mystery to everyone. I need you to get down this ladder now. The loop that I was thinking of is also on the other side. I actually got a shot off on me, you jerk. Do you have anything interesting? these pellets. I will want these for later on. Like all this ammunition. But I've fallen so many times on this deck that I've uh, entered I don't give a fuck mode. Come here, monkey. Yeah, you see me. Sit down there momentarily. Okay. There's uh, at least one box inside here. And there's some cyber modules on a body over there. 
Oh yeah, I forgot about the monkey. <laughs> Here I am thinking like, do I just swap to the wrench? I'll swap to the wrench. Ah, oh, I gotta hoof it. Fuck. All right. I'm more annoyed about the wasted time there than anything else. Use the damn hypo. Seven. Is there a bug? Didn't want to backtrack to the uh, the surgical bed. Spend five nanites there. And allow more potential respawns to slow down me getting off this deck. Caught the uh, the broadcast of Hard a couple days back. Hope you can see the difference. You can't see the difference, then I don't understand what's what's wrong with you. And yes, there would be something wrong with you in that situation. We do not welcome you. This is over here. I think. That doesn't make sense. Reactivated this, right? Yes. I'm getting turned around. That death sucked for my confusion. Yeah, it was definitely the other one I went into first. Well, having 13 health, even with the point of endurance, uh, is a big contributor of that. We've also definitely encountered more enemies. The spawn rate on Impossible is, uh, amped, you know. I can do this false lie without taking any damage. Yeah, look at that. Fuck off. I want to put this over here. Increase in uh, cyber prices. The economy, you fools! Alright. Let's go take care of business on this deck, and then we can move on to hydroponics where we encounter our second OS station and uh, hold a vote once more. Oh, yeah, there's a log there. You have to shoot me through that damn door, you cheater. I've been contacted by some kind of artificial intelligence that wants to help me reclaim control of the bomb run from whomever or whatever is now in charge. I don't know where it came from, but I must confess, I'm happy it is here. Wincing. in the damn doorway. Good work. The engine core is now back online. Now get to the elevator and come see me on deck four. While you are doing that, I've discovered the presence of some annelid artifacts on board the ship. I think you may be able to use them to your advantage. I've uploaded the information to the ship's weapons upgrade units. They'll be able to convey the information to your cybernetic rig. What are you waiting for? Get to the elevator now. I'm working on it, Polito. I don't know where we'd be without Delacroix. This whole ship is falling apart. She's the only one who knows what from what. I saw her arguing with that creep Anatoly Koreskin or whatever his name is, and she was 
giving it to him, but good. But that freak job stares her straight in the eye and starts babbling about how she doesn't know the pleasure of the joyful unity or some such. Mamma mia, the clowns are running the circus. Do not like that sound behind this. I gotta avoid this. We'll never see it again. It is it waves at me. I guess I'm coming back down here. There are cyber modules down here. I actually gotta throw down a save. If I if I die down here, I what a while since I saved anyway, except for the auto saves. If I fall down here, I will just load. Instead of accepting the loss. It saw me, somehow. Come here. One cannot flee our many. Come here. Here's your many. A laboratory worker from MedSide called me down to the vivisection room yesterday. He felt the lab chimps were exhibiting uncommon intelligence. I sat with one for four hours and tried to probe it with the cyan on a beta-4 cycle. It failed to respond. I, of course, assumed it was because it was incapable of reacting to the sophisticated beta-4 cycle. But then I realized Damn. it was blocking the probe intentionally. As soon as I raised the cyan to attack it, the creature lashed out with its arms and projected a cryokinetic field towards me, paralyzing my arm. I immediately side dampened the monkey and then stunned it with an electric prod. Something you're sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I died by running into the wall there. <laughs> I didn't show that off recently. Good. The shot weakened me and then boop. Thanks, Cyber Midwife. I don't think there's any other Cyber Modules down here. It was just the two. There are some other supplies. Uh, we'll permit them all to stay down here. Farewell, friends. That protocol droid's right and waiting for me when I get back up here. <laughs> hey, bud. Never thought I'd see you again. <laughs> no. No, no. We are done with this deck. Will be some minor business to handle here later. But that won't be tonight. Alright. Don't put that on top of the friendship steam device. Sure. We'll find others, but you know, if it's out of my inventory, I can't accidentally use it. This item is just a waste for me. It's really a really high side hypos, really. Until I get like some recycling. 61, um. I'll go ahead and grab a point of research here. Let's 
get that extra 25% damage to uh, hybrids now. We don't need this. We could use the lab assistant implant when we get it on uh, deck three. Just grab it. Also allow me to research the monkey brain and a chemical I'll need for that is on this floor. Don't you like when people invite you to things that you'll be paying for? <laughs> Alright, 25 extra... 25% extra damage to hybrids. Let's not put that there, that's... Obnoxious. Monkey Brain needs Fermium. Let's go grab that. What else do I want to spend? I have noted my desire to get that up. I need 64 for that. First assault rifle I'm gonna find is on deck three, although it's in a broken state. Still no hacking, huh, Grim? Hmm. Wasn't intended to be a hackless run. It still probably won't be. Is there anything I want to bring with me up to the, the third floor? Yeah, sure. How's the ammunition looking? Looks alright. Armor piercing rounds are the ones that hurt the most, using them on turrets and uh, the protocol droids that have popped up. And right, so we got 507. I will certainly want to hack before I buy anything, though, from the replicators. Seven med hypos. The one med kit I'm not even keeping in my inventory. The basketball that I can never let go of. This thing, which is really a waste. Let's throw it. I mean, who cares if it's gone, right? He says as he frantically clicks around to pick it up. <laughs> they won't help you at all, Grimma. Psi plus one when you're not even using psi powers. I'm like, you don't understand. I need to see how many of these I'll have. <laughs> Grimma, that's hoarding. That is hoarding. It's absolute hoarding. I'm not putting this stuff in the elevator. I don't want to listen to it, like, clank around. Sure. Whatever. It is what it is. A little bit more inventory management. We're keeping that around with us. You never know when we might want to play a game. It's never, but you never know. Carrying some supplies up here with us. But yeah, I might find other uh, other games to put in the game player. Otherwise, I'd have to hold on to them until I got back to the game player. Duh. Anyway, we can't go up to deck four like Polito once because the shaft's blocked. Damn, something's blocking the shaft, and the elevator can't reach deck four. I'm attempting to determine. I'm detecting massive quantities of some kind of biomaterial that's plugging up the elevator shaft. The environment on this level has been altered to be some kind of breeding chamber for the Xenomorphs. It shouldn't prove dangerous unless you plan to stay for more than a few hours. But in order to clear the shaft, you're going to have to remove the biomaterial. I'm accessing the primary data loop. Let's see what we can find out there. Okay. I feel like going left and just having fun with those hybrids over there. Not like I can hack the machine. There's one to hack in there anyway, unless that's removed on Impossible. 
There's two turrets and a camera, I think. I can deal with the camera. The turrets, I'm just trying to duck. We'll leave that corridor alone for now. There's our second OS station. Oh, good. The other turret as well. Why isn't that trioptimum glass? Damn it! Like I wanted the chips. <laughs> anyway, there's our brain researched. Yippee! Now we deal more damage to monkeys. Not like that's necessary. Just leave the chips there. Just see the light combat armor. Fuck! Ah, actually has an angle on me there. Gross. Okay, well, we're perfectly safe here, right? He said. Uh, nodding slowly. Let's talk. Alright. By talk, I mean, let me pull the pull back up. I gotta refresh the page for this. It's telling me I'm not connected to the server. Wouldn't it be funny if, uh, you know, the poll just broke? The thing that I was relying on for all 16 options and I couldn't pop the thing up again? He says squinting at the poll interface as the tab doesn't refresh. Well. Hmm. It's almost like the service is down right now. Well, that's awkward. Why don't we just not pick this, then? We'll wait on that. No! I wouldn't have to make my own fucking decisions! Do you not under- like, have you- have you missed, like, what this is? I'm letting viewers pick the OS upgrades? I'm staring at this because I'm thinking about whether I want to level up uh, maintenance right now. I think the answer is no. Just leave that entire room alone. Good swine hunter. Your song is not ours. Am I the one who's hiding? Maybe. It's becoming clear that the worms are some kind of communal entity. Well, I'm not sure whether airborne toxin A will directly kill any inventory specimens. It should impact their communal mass and remove the residue I've observed growing on the walls and the lift shaft. But perhaps there is a more potent formula to be synthesized. Okay, stop where you are. There's a vial of an experimental material called toxin A. It was developed by the Psy staff to reduce the growth of the aliens, but I can't find any data on how you should use it. You should be able to research the toxin. I'm uploading you enough cyber modules to acquire the research skill if you don't have it. Or you can use lab assistant. 
Also, note that what you're given is tin, but the cost for the first level of that, an impossible, is 17. So, uh, you know, doesn't fully cover the price. Thankfully, you have your good friend Lab Assistant there to cover it for you, so you don't even need to grab the point. But I grabbed it anyway, because I don't want to actually hold on to this. Okay, I knew she was going to talk to me some more. To be placed directly into the environmental regulators. There should be four on this deck. If you can get a vial into each of the regulators, you should be able to significantly impact the growth of those despicable creatures. That should remove the biomatter from the elevator shaft. I guess I'm going this way again? Not really in a great condition to broadcaster stands here and has to think about how he's gonna be handling cyborg midwives. Got three AP rounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm here actually. <laughs> Surprise! Welcome aboard. I don't know how much longer we're going. But we're here for the moment. Cyborg made wife to the left. Okay, well. Oh, another one of those. Already. Sure. Might as well just have held the first one in my damn inventory. I'd like those nanites, please. Give. Thank this you. is Xerxes. Why do you let the Metal Mother guide your actions? Why do you not join the glory of the Mass? Xerxes, is this a sex thing? Because I don't consent. Hi there. Hi there. Please make your selection. Please make your selection. get this toxin researched. For that, I uh, want to go to the uh, the room where we do that. This is Xerxes. Please report any electrical anomalies to your direct superior. Remember, I might need to go back there for that key. Is everybody's responsibility. That's not the way I want to go for that key. I forget where the hell that key is exactly. So, let's backtrack then. Alright. Fine. Hop up. Can't decide on the weapon I want to wield. The specimens are dying, and we're powerless to help. They're highly toxic. Muldoon well, wouldn't leave them, and now he's dead. But this morning I had a revelation. I started work specifications for a radical series of cybernetic enhancements. If successful, I could make a body practically indestructible. Yet the mind... <laughs> Wait for that camera to calm down, then I'll shoot it. One's a bit out of reach of my wrench. Alright, Key, are you down here? I don't think so. Oh, I don't. I don't care. This is not a no spoilers broadcast. I've played through this game enough, and I broadcasted enough.
You can let her rip if you want. I can do a fine enough job of finding items. Um, so Xerxes, when the Von Braun launches, uh, the instruction manual touts us a bit, um, is not an AI in the, the way that Shodan is, uh, due to the, like, many extra layers of regulation. Uh, in the, and what transpires, like, in the two weeks after the landing on Tal Seti 5 to now, um, Xerxes isn't, like, like, he very thoroughly is, like, reprogrammed by the mind-controlled agents of the many. Definitely acting as a mouthpiece. Is it this body that has it? No. There's the one pane of glass that's breakable in this room that'll shatter and drop you down into egg fun. Yeah, they, uh, that's talked about more on Deck 4, Malik in particular, like reprogramming the sim units to, uh, modify Xerxes. Xerxes was, uh, fairly well hamstrung uh, before that due to just, like, it's been two decades, but still a deep concern over uh, what happened on Citadel Station. All of our egg friends. Being said, I still don't have the key card to show for it. Odd. I did tap this, right? Shodan, of course, only got her freedom thanks to the, uh, the hacker, uh, before the start of, uh, System Shock 1. Permitting her conscious consciousness to expand. I'll just go this way. The keycard might very well be in one of those rooms. Also got a camera over here, I think, to my right. I can... Ah, fuck it, shoot it. Cyboost in plan, oh boy. Cyborg midwife down there along with two hybrids. Uh, Diego, of course, referring to William Bedford, Diego's father. That's uh, part of the shame that uh, he's looking to overcome on this expedition. That's why he's so incorruptible. Why he comes across such a hard ass to Karinchkin. Like, I cannot be bought or deceived or tricked or betrayed. Our eyes are open. Damn. We Good enough. Welcome. Good enough. I was expecting that cyborg midwife, though. Yeah, the hacker is the unnamed protag of the first game. The creator, effectively, of Shodan. Uh, after uh, doing what he did for uh, Diego, uh, he gets put under uh, to get, like, his prototype, high-quality military cyber rig installed. And when the hacker wakes back up, uh, Shodan's in control of Citadel Station and looking to execute her first of several plans. Ah. Doesn't pop up until you uh, get next to that toxin. For my little ones. You want to engage these in melee? They are weaker in melee, and you can get them to flail around with their claws. If they fight you at range, uh, they've got a pretty good rate of fire, and they can gun you down pretty well. It's not specified what became of the hacker uh, in the intervening time between System Shocks 1 and 2. I presume the hacker is doing pretty well for themselves if still alive. What happened to me? 
I guess I can go in there first, but that offers the key to, like, a different section. Maybe the key's in that room with the turrets that I didn't want to deal with? Uh, no, awesome Poe. Uh, this is a different character. You raise them up, like, in the, in the prologue. I have been selected to be involved in the initial work. Anatoly's one condition is that I tell no one aboard the ship. The creatures are remarkable. They're so check these crates? I guess I was distracted by the turrets. It's a miraculous discovery. Well, that's enough AP rounds for me to deal with this damn thing. I guess. I don't like it, but... We'll get over it. That's impossible difficulty for you. Ooh, excellent quality pistol. Let's unload this one and chuck it. As far as I'm concerned, what they need to address first and foremost is how the fuck Shodan does what she does at the end of this game. You can't just, like... <laughs> Especially if Shodan's gonna be a part of System Shock 3, we can't leave that unaddressed. That has to come back. Life grows within the womb of these walls. Life that has never seen the surface of the earth. Oh, Grimoth, it's just the FTL drive that she hacked into that allowed her to do that. You would not understand, peasant brain. 400 IQ Shodan over here. I meant to swear, search that egg first. I don't even need to, like, deal with that now. Okay, car's not in here. I'll be damned, this is the first time... I didn't even run to this problem when I, uh, ran to this game casually several days back. Hm. Well, I'll just go to what I know I can clear, then. I also missed that surgery. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fluffy, Shodan was on. Like, put. Sh put System Shock 3 in your search engine. Because they're not shying away from Shodan. How you doing? <laughs> oh yes, processing component uh seventeen point two. Surprise. Hey, what the hell? Oh, Oh yeah, it's definitely her. Is that an enemy that was up here? No, that was just a hole in the wall. Did I go this way? Okay. I will fall down the window now. I know. As part of my ever-evolving 5D uh, Xanatos Gambit, to prevail and potentially save Christmas. Babies must sleep. That's right, Trey. Babies must rest. Why is this the one who does not waken them? This Do I want to play dodgeball with the, uh, the toxins that jump out of these? Not with only four hypos, just shoot. You want to search these eggs? Because they could have loot prizes for you, though it is impossible difficulty. So the odds aren't great. Hey! You got my meds? Sweet. Very thoughtful of you. Laser pistol over here. It's in superb condition. We're not using energy weapons for this run. Wait. 
know, I never started researching that. Start researching that. We need some osmium. That might be on this deck. We're, uh, we're coming up on where I actually wanted to go. I just forgot the route to get there, but we're here now. Mildly creeping. Don't do it to me. Please don't. I won't tell. I won't. Choose somebody else. I don't want to change. Please. Don't cry. <laughs> don't cry. Soon you'll be the mother of them all. No interrupting the story time, monkey. Just not even giving a damn. I will use one of my surgical activation keys over here. This is a good spot for it. I click back here, use the other one. Son of a bitch. Let's throw down a hard save. So yes, the eggs uh, were having strong difficulty adjusting to being on this vessel, uh, even loaded up as they were in hydroponics. So an entrepreneur here thought to himself, how could we maybe resolve this? Full of wonderful ideas and experiments. They have so many miracles to share, so much knowledge to give. And this is her. <laughs> One of many. I wish I had more time so I could give it to them. Pretty good with my aim in this game. <laughs> Alright. I'll settle for not having the alarm go off again, thanks. Just came in here for the hypos. Yep, that totally wasn't recorded on footage. No one saw. Nope. Let's go deal with some monkeys. There's three or four in this section? There they are. May I interest you in any of our personal care products? Thanks, a person. <laughs> oh, that, that two second panic of there's not supposed to be a protocol droid on this level. Oh, wait, I did that to myself. <laughs> yeah, um, randomly, my normal sub alert uh, is replaced uh, by a protocol droid. Uh, I made that adjustment uh, when I started broadcasting this game again a few days back. Use this other chemical. Alright. Go back to monkey hunt. Your cryokinesis. How much of this do I have? 30? Do I really want to use this on them? <laughs> Screw it. Oh, 
Oh, there's a normal one? Gross. I mean, as a normal camera. What? I'm flustered now. Well, currently it's past Grimoth who did that. Surprisingly, Grimoth. Big brain over here, huh? Is that another monkey down there? There's our key card to leave this sector. Ooh, open. Come over here, monkey. You can go alternate ways if you so desire. When you're in this section, we'll just break the glass. So, uh, the, uh, the protagonist here did have their memory wiped by Polito over the past few weeks. The memory didn't have to be wiped. Uh, it comes across as an accident in the opening cutscene, but it very much was an intentional thing. <clears throat> Damn, got caught out. Okay, let's just ray rub the surgical bed. I definitely enjoy this floor more than the first floor. I let me let me say that different. Uh, the first floor is very tight with a lot of respawns in close quarters. Uncomfortable. This is different. Don't recall there being anything in the water. Mark, what's going on? I thought it was weird when you asked me to send up sixteen of my female staffers, but. What have you done with them? I'm short-handed up here. Also, if you heard from Watts, Sanger, or Polito, it's like everyone's gone on vacation and didn't bother to tell me. Everyone's on vacation. Wink. I think we're good. <laughs> well, no. So... <laughs> My, uh... System Shock 2 is built in the Dark Engine. It's a different style of game. Like, like System Shock 2 is a like first-person shooter role-playing game. System Shock 1 has that action-adventure sort of thing. Uh, things do go at slower speeds. Some of them. Some also requires you to wrestle with that interface fairly quick. That's easier now since uh, we've evolved in how we bind keys and utilize our keyboard. Which just goes to show how far, like, like that design has come in a couple decades, yeah? It's a good quality grenade launcher I can actually carry with me. Hey, troop! This game did use both Thief... Uh, well, it did use Ultimate Underworld as an inspiration. That's talked about uh, by, I think, Ken Levine in the instruction manual. Yeah, I don't want to be in that section right now. We'll just go this way. I don't feel like keeping things in the, the elevator right now. Pick that stuff up. Pick that up too. Alright. Grenade. You get over here. We'll do heavy weapons. Probably in this run. Just not right now. Uh... Drop the speed for the brawn. Psy boost implant we're definitely not using because I'm not using Psy in this run. We'll keep the two pistols. It's nice to be able to swap to those pretty quick. Ammo shuffling there. How are we looking on supplies? Not too bad. <laughs> you you can't remove the the user design and interface hurdle. That's a 
that's tethered to the very design of the video game. That can't be overlooked. Like, it's cool that, uh, like, the Enhanced Edition has allowed you to, like, experience the game and, like, restored your, like, like, vitality in it, but that can't be separated from the video game experience. That would be like looking at Daggerfall, like, Unity and being like, man! Daggerfall was a great game! Daggerfall is my favorite Elder Scrolls game. That is not a great game. I love it. I've put hundreds of hours into it. It's not a great video game. Sure, what Night Dive has done has definitely, like, made the, like, that experience, like, much easier, but it can't be separated from the video game. Like, when you... When that's, like, looked back at, like, how the design of the game functions should still be a part of the thought process. Alright, let me see if I can, uh... This poll interface will work for us now so that we can have our vote here. Well, at least it worked for the first OS station. I'm going to take a